The contrast between the Trump administration's amazing success and Joe Biden's breathtaking failure. There's never been anything. Nobody's ever seen anything like this. Even the fake All right, that's former President Trump. He is front and center as two big Republican primaries are underway today. Voters in Nebraska and West Virginia head to the polls. President Trump is backing Charles Herbster, a millionaire agricultural executive in Nebraska. And in West Virginia, Trump is also back, backing Alex Moody, while Senator Joe Manchin has endorsed a Republican named David McKinley. Let's talk about the primaries now and some of the more talked about races and welcome in Newsmax political analyst Mark Halpern. Mark, great to have you with us and let's dig into the data. Wonky, wonky indeed. Let's do it. Numbers, <laughs> digits, abacus. Abacus. I mean. It's, it's, it's the virtual abacus that we have here as part. We're going to get the graphics package eventually. It will include some sort of digital abacus. But until then, let's talk about uh, the data that matter and the data that don't. And I'll start. And I'm going to go with $4.37. That's the average price for an unleaded gallon of gas in the United States. It's a record high. And the issue here, Mark, is that this is so visceral for Americans. They go to the pump all the time. And it's like a tax without actually being a tax. And Joe Biden's getting the blame for it. That's exactly right, Anchorman. Um, look, <laughs> the president the president said moments ago he wants the American people to know inflation's his highest priority. And I think a lot of people appreciate the president acknowledging that that should be a high priority, but he's got to do something about it. Right. And right now, you talk to people in the Democratic Party on Capitol Hill and the White House, they don't have a solution to take that $4 plus number down. Until they do, it's going to be a political hurt for the president and his party and a pocketbook hurt for the American people. Now, I remember on Election Day 2020, it was $1.99 a gallon for the Costco here in Boca Raton. We all want to go back to those days. The data that don't matter, obviously, Mark, is the 180 million barrels of oil that the Biden administration released from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. It hasn't done anything to reduce the cost of gas for the average American or the price of oil. It is the largest ever release. Uh, but, uh, you know, this goes along with a lot of the other spin. James Rosen took uh, umbrage with our classification of these as lies, but, you know, it certainly doesn't seem like the truth to the American public, what we're getting from the Biden administration. Well, the polls tell the tale. People do think the president needs to lead on this. And every president who releases from the uh, Strategic Petroleum Reserve knows that it's symbolic. It's not it's not even a Band-Aid. It doesn't it doesn't stop the problem uh, short term or long term. And so, again, uh, this is a tough one to solve. And, and there are a lot of outside factors impacting it. But the president and his team are going to have to come up with something that works because mm. the market right now is not adjusting because of COVID, supply chain, Putin, lots of factors. They're just not adjusting the way it needs to. Yeah. And, you know, some other symbolism, too. Everyone talks about the Keystone XL pipeline. Well, it's just symbolic. It's not online, but that would have a big effect, too. Uh, but let's get to your numbers, the data that matter. 23.2 percent. That's the Trafalgar poll that shows Kathy Burnett is <laughs> neck and neck with Dr. Oz. That's where she is, just a couple points behind. Uh, we don't have the undecided numbers up there, but this is something that you and I talked about uh, when it came to the Ohio primary and J.D. Vance. I, I mean, still a lot of undecided voters in Pennsylvania, and that makes things very interesting. It does. And there's only one candidate now with what we call the big mo, Kathy Barnett. She's a great fit for the Republican electorate in that state. And both Dave McCormick and Dr. Oz have not caught on. They've done OK. They've spent millions. I saw one political analyst from Pennsylvania quoted as saying, couldn't possibly be true that Kathy Barnett's doing well because she hasn't spent millions on TV ads. Well, that person is living in the past. That's no longer necessary. In a high profile race, someone with momentum, online credibility, a compelling story, can do very well. I'm not sure she's the favorite yet, but I would not be the least surprised if she won. She can get a lot of those undecideds. And it's going to be interesting to see, John, in the closing days of this primary, what a Dr. Oz and Dave McCormick do to try to appeal to her supporters mm -hmm. or maybe take her down a notch. Barnett has pulled off the equivalent of a football team who is getting the ball back in the second half where they have a loss and somehow they scoop and score and score a touchdown going into the half. The other team is just humiliated. Dr. Oz has a video out where he's shooting guns, not getting a lot of, you know, favorable comments, uh, but we'll see where this one goes. So let's also talk about your data that don't matter, and it's a, uh, I guess, a blank space, but it's where the, any poll number could go on abortion or the midterms before we actually have a decision from the Supreme Court. You don't buy that this is actually moving voters yet. We don't know. I call it the blah, blah, blah number. It's nothing because fine, waste your money on some polls, but we don't know what the actual decision is going to be. And what's happened between last Monday and now and what will happen until the decision's released 
It's all noise. Most of the people in the country aren't paying attention to it. Now, if the final ruling, whether it's five to four or six to three, is anything like what Justice Alito drafted, then I'll be interested to see what the poll numbers say. But for now, I would save the money on polls and I would save your time reading these polls because, as we say in Chicago, nobody knows nothing about nothing right now in terms of how the Supreme Court might impact the midterms. The Windy City, they call it that not because of the weather, but because of all the political talk that swirls around Chicago. And that looks like some... May, may, I, may, I, may, I, may, I, may I gas bag? Yes, may I gas That's bag. All. Mayor Daly. Uh, you know, look, looks like some beautiful convention space there behind you, Mark Halpern. So uh, we'll let you get back to it. Speaking to the Shriners in just a moment. Just Good kidding. Stuff. Thank you, John. See you next week. We'll Bye-bye. see you next week. Mark Halpern. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.